We begin with breaking news here at 6 o'clock. A 24-year-old man is now charged in connection with the deaths of two Chicago police officers this week. Edward Brown faces one felony count of reckless discharge of a firearm and one felony count of aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. This development comes as we learn more about funeral arrangements for both officers. WGN's Patrick Elwood is live at Chicago Police Headquarters with this breaking news. Patrick. Mike and Joe, good evening to you. Hundreds, if not thousands of mourners will soon descend upon Blake Lamb Funeral Home in Oak Lawn over the next couple of days. And then to St. Rita High School, where the funeral mass for these two gentlemen is going to be held. That, as the breaking news we have just learned, a 24-year-old Chicago man these officers were pursuing, charges against him have now been filed. The remains of officers Conrad Gary and Eduardo Marmaleo transported with an escort from the ME's office to a funeral home in Oaklawn this evening. It's been two days since they were struck and killed by a train near 103rd and Cottage Grove. By way of body cam footage, CPD investigators have learned while pursuing a suspect in connection with a report of shots fired, they were aware of the train heading north. They were unaware of the express train heading southbound behind them that fatally struck them. The man they were pursuing was arrested and tonight, 24-year-old Edward Brown of Chicago is charged with aggravated unlawful use of a weapon and reckless discharge of a firearm. Earlier today, word of funeral arrangements came. Officer Gary, who is survived by a wife and six-month-old daughter, his wake will be held Thursday at Blake Lamb Funeral Home in Oak Lawn between 3 and 9 p.m. Funeral services will be 9.30 a.m. Friday at St. Rita of Cassia Shrine at 77th and Western. Officer Marmaleo, who is survived by a wife and three daughters, his wake will be held from 3 to 9 p.m. Friday, also at Blake Lamb Funeral Home in Oak Lawn. His funeral mass begins at 11 a.m. as well Saturday at St. Rita of Cassia Shrine. Late this afternoon, the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation telling us that it delivered $60,000 checks to each of these officers' families. But the headline, at this hour, that 24-year-old man, Edward Brown, charged, he'll be in bond court tomorrow at noon. Reporting from police headquarters at 35th of Michigan, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio. Patrick, thank you very much. We have a bit more on this, too. Loved ones have created separate GoFundMe accounts for officers Eduardo Marmalejo and Conrad Gary. They've been verified by GoFundMe officials. Stay with WGN News for continuing coverage. You can follow developments on WGNTV.com and the WGN mobile app.